The Corpus Christi artist Myra Zamora has organized a year-long series of monthly exhibits at the Janet Hart Library in Flower Bluff, and her work is featured this month. Here's a look. The show features 21 smaller works, and Zamora says she chose March for her show because it's Women's History Month and her 31st birthday. I'm kind of letting go of my childhood and becoming an adult and accepting my femininity and womanhood. So that's why you see a lot of the blending with the roses and the hearts. But it's not like I'm saying there's some that read the amo por vida. It's not that I'm saying I love someone. It's I'm saying I love myself. Along with hearts, most of the paintings also have roses in them. You know, I always have uh, dealt with the with the rose. It's one of my first things that I started messing around with and hearts too when I was a little girl back home in Tivoli. But predominantly the La, La, La Rosa is because of La Virgen de Guadalupe. It, 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 it was a drawing and a painting that I would have outside of my bedroom and what I would notice La Virgen de Guadalupe but what I noticed more was the beautiful flowers around it. And she often paints the roses with the color white. I also do it because of my love for Selena, which is, I, I represent the white rose. So in a way, she's here with me too. But Zamora's art is more than just a celebration of her Hispanic heritage. It also reflects her love for modern art. The geometric shapes in the background are not random. Each of these shapes is a letter in her own personal codex or alphabet. The background is actually my codex in which you have to decipher. So, it, and, 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 it, and I've been doing that my entire life, even back in Tivoli, hiding things in my work. So these backgrounds are actually messages or statements, but you have to know the codex in order to read them, and she says she is not revealing the key. I kind of want to see, when, once I'm long gone, to see if they can decipher what I have to say. The codex shapes are also a reference to Piet Mondrian, one of her favorite artists, because he also dealt with simplified lines, shapes, and colors. And if you're not familiar with Mondrian, you just see squares. And they're like, oh, I can do that. But yes, but if you know your art history, he's actually doing a bird's eye view of like New York City looking down. So those are buildings and like one of my favorites is Boogie Woogie. I think that's the name of it. And I love Frank Stella. Again, her show is just one of a year long series of monthly shows she's curating for the Hard Library that feature up and coming female artists. And she's gaining quite a reputation for curating exhibits like this, a skill that just seems to come naturally for her. Well, since I was a little girl, even back in home in Tivoli, I've always liked to organize my little knickknacks. Always organize everything that I had in my room. So naturally, a curating, that's what it is. You're finding all these amazing artists and then you have the ability to um, display it the way I want to display it. So I and you can see how Zamora decided to display her own artwork from now through the end of the month at the Hart Library, which is right next door to Flower Bluff High School.